guys in this video i will show you how you can fix a uh, drone and liberty fps drops lagging freezing and stuttering so uh, this will be complete guide so uh, bear with me right so the first step what i suggest to do here the most easiest uh, so go to settings uh, go to windows update uh, check for updates and if there is an update that you need to download and install it please do so and same thing with your gpu drivers and um, depending on you uh, on what you're using i'm using nvidia so there is nvidia app to that i just need to go to drivers uh, and uh, update will be here so just update your gpu and your operating system uh, first right click on your uh, desktop show more options uh, nvidia control panel then go to manage 3d settings and then uh, select program settings and uh, press add and add drone and liberty and then here you need to tweak a few settings so the first one is a uh, monitor technology make sure to use g-sync compatible then go to a power management mode uh, select uh, prefer maximum performance then select uh, prefer to refresh rate highest available uh, texture filtering uh, on Textual filtering quality, highest performance, textual filtering, uh, three linear optimization on, and VSync, uh, just use the 3D application setting, and then uh, virtual reality pre rendered frames, select two, and apply the changes, right? Uh, and after that, what you need to do here next is to uh, go to Steam, uh, go to Steam then press on the Steam icon, go to settings, and once you open up the settings, uh go to downloads and then here uh, clear download cache uh, and after that uh, steam should close and then you need to re-log into your account uh, then the next step write run then you need to write percent local app data percent you hit ok and then on this window uh, you should find tl and then delete the tl folder don't worry this is just a thrown in liberty cache files and the game will be not affected if you can't delete the uh, file that's why probably your game is running so just close the game and then try to delete it right then go to settings search settings then here write storage storage settings then look for temporary files and then uh, here you just need to clear all the temporary files here uh, remove files and then wait until it's done and the next step what you need to do here you need to open up steam then you need to go to throne and liberty properties uh, install files browse uh, here you need to look for tl and then you need to go to uh, binaries win64 and then tl exe so you should find uh, this little search icon on the top just click on the blank space and copy the path right then you need to go to graphic settings uh, then on graphic settings you need to go to uh, change default graphic settings make sure hardware excluded gpu scheduling is on and then you need to look for browse uh, paste the path and add the exe file uh, i already added so there is uh, on the list for me uh, just look for tl client go to options and select high performance right then uh, uh, after you close that you just need to on search right edit uh, power plan plan option then power options and then select ultimate performance if there is no ultimate performance select a high performance then just run the game and once you run the game go to test manager and then uh, throne and liberty will be here so let's say uh, i don't know steam is thrown in liberty you just need to right click on it go to details it should not be blank go to details then you will find Tron and Liberty XE file properties, uh, not properties, uh, as you can see here, set priority and make sure to set priority to a high. And then look if you're getting uh, better, uh, uh, basically, results or not. And in game settings, make sure that uh, screen mode is not borderless, it's normal, but I'm just recording the video. Uh, resolution is your native one frame limit no limit turn off vsync then uh, make sure make uh, make sure to dls super resolution make it to balance or performance uh, just test it out what's best for you then uh, here on quality uh, make sure that uh, 
uh, anti-aliasing, ambient, uh, just go to user settings, set uh, everything to low, and then uh, go to character quality medium, then go to a uh, anisotrophic filtering, make it uh, X4, and then uh, here, uh, make sure that shader preloading in ter terrain quality is medium and everything here is low. And I messed up my settings here. Wait a second. Again, let's go back. So uh, post-processing medium, everything is low except post-processing medium, uh, character quality medium, uh, shadow quality medium, distance shadow quality medium. Uh, texture quality medium uh, and subtrophic x4 effect and veg uh, vegetation quality is medium on advanced make sure that depth of field motion blur chromatic uh, uh, abrasion is off lens flare is enabled then terrain quality make it uh, medium and then uh, here uh, sh shader preloading make sure to make medium and then make sure these two options enabled and the hair strands is disabled if for some reason game is not running with the uh, dx uh, uh, 12 make it just disable this option here right and that's basically it so if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye